Okay, well, I was just told by expert Seth that uh, this Little Red, Express, Little Red Express truck has been sold. And then we got this 1964 Plymouth. And I have been told it is an original 426 street wedge car. Then we have a very nice little A100 pickup truck that needs a little bit of metal work. Really cool old power wagon, 150. Is this a Roadrunner or a satellite? satellite. Just a plain old satellite. Ooh, I like the wagon. That is a cool wagon. Sports Suburban. We got four door like 62 Fury. That's old Plymouth Duster. 72, it looks like. 70 Belvedere four door. Police car. Ooh, an old police car. Yeah, it's a Colorado, a Colorado State Police Patrol car. Really? That's 3D3 a, Hypo car. 3D3 Hypo. Ooh, with the rubber bumpers. That's interesting. It has its like certified does it yeah. oh cool let's go on the other side and see the certified speedometer Ooh, 71 roadrunner or satellite fire dome 66 coronet let's see this cop car Oh yeah, certified. That's interesting. Then what do we got over here? 65, I think, Dart GT. 71 Dart. And a drag car 70, or at least it looks like a 70 Challenger, 72. From the side marker lights. It have a Cummins diesel in it. It had a Cummins diesel in this thing? Oh geez. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy, guys. Another 64 Plymouth. I think a, a Valiant with a Cummins in it years ago. It was a 68 Valiant two-door post with a Cummins turbo. With the four-cylinder turbo diesel or the six? Oh, geez. And Seth, this is a 72 Roadrunner, you said, right? It has many options. Many options. But I thought this one was sold. No. It's no? Been here forever. 67 Dart GT Convertible. That has the rear uh, window louver option on it. Ooh. The Roadrunner does. Really? I'll have to go over there and check it out. Here's a regular 67 Dart GT. Let's check out this Roadrunner a little bit more. Oh, it's muddy over here. Oh yeah, the little rear louver. That's cool. The louvers aren't in them, but they have Yeah, them. but you can see where they, they mount. That's, you need rear end? We got rear ends here too. Transmission, leaf springs, more cars. Wow, they actually cleaned out the entire middle row of cars over here. Because that 340, uh, what, 72 duster was over there earlier. Yeah, it's down in the bottom now. Oh, is it? What kind of middle bottom? Here's that 65 satellite race car that's completely rotted out. Old business coupe. Looks like it's like on a Dakota frame or something. Imperial. Another Polara. Ooh, nice old Dodge truck. And is this a Roadrunner or a Satellite? Pet, real pet, a real corporate blue? Really? That's sweet. Oh, small block car. Yeah, 318 three speed. Ooh, three speed. Disc brake car. Big meats in the back. 
Oh yeah, three-speed manual. I don't know. Let's see if we can open the door. Yeah, you don't see that very often. All right. This was a lot of fun to walk around. The weather was just about perfect. The yard had a whole bunch of new cars. Unfortunately, this was shot in 2021. A few of the cars have sold, like the Coronet sold, the AAR sold. Um, but the yard always is getting in new cars that they're rescuing. And, of course, there is the actual yard that they sell parts out of. You can see some of it here. And here was the row of cars when I last saw it. Let's just say that it's never a bad time to go visit. I put all the information to this yard in the description below. That way, if you have any comments or questions, you can drop them a line and see what they got, because stuff's always popping up. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed that video from my friends Junkyard in Missouri. I put their information in the description below, that way if you want to contact them about any of the vehicles you saw. I know the video is a few years old, and I'm not quite sure what's there right now, but they're always getting cars in, and it's an active muscle car or Mopar junkyard. So they have parts available as well. Uh, I'm going to tag somewhere in here the uh, video series from that. Because I've had a few videos from their yard in the past. And I wish I was there this weekend because I would be getting home right about now. But uh, unfortunately it didn't work out that way. The Challenger, obviously I'm standing where it usually is, is not back yet. The uh, Stellantis strike is over and now my new engine is just waiting in uh, the queue somewhere. How long was the strike? It's like in a six month backlog. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys all updated. And the weather is supposed to be getting nicer. So I will hopefully be working on the 71. I got, you can see stuff there. And I still am cleaning up stuff from McCacken. So as long as the weather gets nice. Because it was like 18 the other day. And it's been raining. Thankfully it's not snow. But otherwise I'm just driving the minivan. Trying to stay out of trouble. Uh, next week is some stuff going on but uh, I'm going to start a new video series which should be a lot of fun so if you have any guys have any or guys and girls if you guys have any comments or questions let me know in the comments below or on any of my social media talk to you all soon stay safe and uh just real quick just a little side note um in my garage you can see it's uninsulated it's uh there's no that's the outer wall right there behind me and I, you can see, oh, hold on. Ah, hold on, let me see. Right there, I have four, four bay, like, fluorescent bulbs. And I replaced, oh, there's the other one. And I replaced these broken ones with LEDs. And wow, what a difference between the old fluorescent tubes and the new, like that one all the way over there is an LED tube. It really changes things. I highly recommend. I'm going to eventually rewire these two four bays into LED ones because the difference is night and day. Also, power. Like, the LED ones, those are instant on, really bright. The fluorescence, it takes them a few minutes to go. But um, I am very impressed. So, talk to you all soon. Stay safe.